Hello traders, this is Liza from ninjaaddons.com and in this video tutorial I'm going to explain how you can create a market scanner with the Elliott Indicator and NT8 Market Analyzer. Let's start. The Elliott Indicator comes with two market scanners that are automatically installed when you install the Elliott Indicator. It also comes with four market analyzer templates to help you create your own scanners. In order to create a new market scanner, simply navigate to the control center, then click on New, Market Analyzer. It will open in an empty window. Note that the market analyzer works with real-time data, so you need to be connected to your market data provider to be able to see something in the scanner window. Now, once you are connected to your data feed and the Market Analyzer window is opened, first you are going to add a new column that will display information with regards to the Elliott Indicator. To do so, right-click somewhere in the Market Analyzer window, then select Columns. It opens a new window from where we are going to select a new Elliott Scanner. From this window, open the folder named Ninja Add-ons and as you can see here, there are two types of scanners. With the Type 1 scanner, you are going to choose the side, bullish or bearish, of the count you want to scan and analyse. The Type 2 will give you the current wave count of the bullish and the bearish count in the same cell. So first, let's see the Type 1. First, you need to double-click on the Elliott Scanner Type 1 to add it to the Configured panel. Then select the scanner, and as you can see on the right-hand side, you have the possibility to change all the settings that come with the Elliott Indicator. At the very top, you can choose to scan up count or down count, and also set the swing settings according to your own values. You can change the background colour of the cell and its foreground colour for each wave, in order to be able to rapidly detect a certain wave directly by looking at the cell's colour. Say for example you want to detect wave 2, you can choose a red background colour, so each time you see a red cell it means the count is in wave 2. Below, you can change all the wave ratios if you need to, and then the time frame you want to scan. Let's choose a 60 minute time frame for example. Also note that you need to load a minimum of 200 bars to get an accurate result. Below that value, the indicator will not be properly initialized and the scan will not be synchronized with the corresponding chart. And finally, you can let the other settings to their default values. Once this is done, you can click OK and as you can see here, there is a new column in the scanner window that corresponds to the Elliott Scanner Type 1. Now in order to see something, remember that you need to be connected to a data feed and also you need to load at least one instrument that you want to scan. So let's say for example that you want to scan the current contract of the NASDAQ. Here you go. The cell is now updated with the latest up count value for the 60 minute chart. As you can see, it can be a bit long to configure an entire market scanner, but once done, it is a really great help because it gives you a wider view of the timeframes of the instrument you trade. In order to simplify this process, we provide with the Elliott Indicator some market scanner templates. If you right click in the window and then select Templates, Load, you will find three templates based on Elliott Scanner Type 1. Choose for example the UP DW and click Load. As you can see, you are now scanning several futures and forex instruments on many different timeframes. For a Type 2 scanner, the process is the same. First select the Type 2 scanner, then configure the settings. The settings are approximately the same, except you don't have to choose between the up or down, nor select the background or foreground cell colour. Click OK, and here is the new column based on the Type 2 scanner. As you can see, each cell indicates the up and down value of the count. You can also load the template named Elliott Type 2 underscore scanner, 
to get a full scanner and modify it according to your needs. That's it for this video. If you have any questions, suggestions or feedback, please send us a note at contact at ninjaaddons.com. You can also subscribe to our YouTube channel to get notified when a new video is published. Thanks for watching, until next time.